What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning into today's video. Today I want to talk to you guys about the programming languages that I was taught going through a coding boot camp. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Joe. Basically, I'm a normal guy. I spontaneously signed up for a coding boot camp. Here on my channel, I like to talk about what my journey has been like. I was fired from the only two junior dev jobs I've had, so it's been a pretty interesting experience. If you guys are interested in seeing how I turn out, you want to follow along my journey, hit that subscribe button and tag along. Like I said, today I want to talk to you guys about the programming languages that I was taught going through a coding bootcamp. This video is intended for anyone that is thinking about going to a coding bootcamp and you want to get an early start on your learning. Or this video is for anyone that is looking to teach themselves to code. Drop a comment down below if you are teaching yourself how to code. I will share with you a few of my favorite resources. So yeah, let's get started. We'll try and make this video nice and short. Number one, to start us out, we learned HTML and CSS. Now, these are technically different, but I am gonna group them together as one. HTML and CSS is essentially the foundation of web development. If you don't know anything about code, if you're looking for somewhere to start, this is where I recommend you start. Intro to HTML and intro to CSS. Now next up, we learned JavaScript. JavaScript you can think of as the lifeblood of your website. It is a little bit more advanced than HTML and CSS, but this is another really important step in the web developer process. So if you're, if you're already familiar with HTML and CSS, I recommend you jump into JavaScript and start learning that. Now, looking back, I also think that learning PHP might be another really good next step. I think the way you can essentially put your PHP kind of right into the HTML code, I think that that might be a little bit easier for a new programmer to understand how and what their code is doing. Now, that's just my personal opinion. I learned PHP after my boot camp, but I do think that might be a good place to start if you're teaching yourself. Now, next up, we learned React. Now, React is not a programming language. It's more of a uh, framework or a JavaScript library. It's kind of like JavaScript and HTML put together. Um, that's a really bad way of explaining it. You, you really can think of it as just more advanced JavaScript. Now, next up, we learned Node.js. Now, this technically is a programming language, and it's JavaScript for the backend. So, as you guys can see, we spent a lot of time working with JavaScript. I remember when I was going through my class, it was really confusing for me to know the difference between the JavaScript on the front end with React and the JavaScript on the back end with Node. It was a light bulb moment for me when I was finally able to differentiate the two. Next up, we learned SQL, and we learned Postgres SQL to be more exact. This was one of my personal favorite subjects. Before my coding bootcamp, I really didn't know much about databases, and by much, I mean I knew nothing at all. It was really exciting for me to not have a coding background and go into this class and start learning about how all of this works and build the front end with React and then build the back end with Node.js and then build the database and, and hook it all together and watch it all come to life, I guess. It was one of the hardest things without a doubt. Going through class was really difficult. But it was really fun to learn how all these pieces fit together. Now, I do want to say these are the things that I was taught going through a coding boot camp, but I don't necessarily want to say I know these things. Sure, I know them on a fundamental level, but there really is a lot more to it than that. And a lot of what I learned at this coding boot camp, I don't even use in my day-to-day -day life anymore, and that's to be expected. I don't use any frameworks, I hardly use database stuff, I pretty much just use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript these days. So what you learn at your bootcamp, you may not be using at your job, and that's to be expected. Starting in 2021, I'm going to document my process of starting my web design agency. 
So if you guys know a thing or two about websites already and you are interested in seeing the kind of websites that I'm building, designing, and selling to clients, consider subscribing to my channel. I think I'm gonna have a lot of really good content coming out. Right now I'm doing my agency part-time, so it'll be easy for me to document, but I'm hoping throughout the year I'll be able to move into it full-time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.